And this is KUA TFM 90.5 Tucson broadcasting from the University of Arizona. We're at a half minute before 11 o'clock. We are continuing coverage of uh, the events happening in New York and Washington, D.C. and in Pennsylvania. A, a truly tragic day for the United States. Uh, I'm here, uh, David Harrington. We have in the newsroom Bobby Clark with latest details. Bobby? Uh, at this point, uh, the federal buildings in the count or the federal courthouse in Tucson have been evacuated and closed. They will remain closed for the day. However, all city and county buildings remain open, as do state buildings in Tucson. The Pima County Emergency Operations Center is open. Flags are flying at half staff on city buildings at the order of the mayor. Uh, ports of entry do remain open throughout Arizona and California. There is a report that border crossings have been closed. However, the Border Patrol says uh, they are uh, open. However, they are operating under enhanced security measures. That means entry into the United States is being delayed and thorough searches are being conducted. All local blood drives have been canceled at uh, Red Cross centers. However, uh, blood centers are open at Foothills Mall and at Broadway, the Red Cross Center there. However, uh, the uh, waiting rooms are full and they're asking people to wait a few days until they can make better arrangements to handle that capacity. Um, University of Arizona President Peter Likens is uh, keeping the university open. However, he is allowing some employees to leave if they need to do so due to concerns over family members that may have been in New York and uh, schools that are closing. He's allowing parents to leave campus and go pick up their children. And that's the latest. We'll keep you updated. Thank you very much, Bobby. We also have from the Associated Press that the Customs Service is on heightened alert status at all ports of entry along the U.S.-Mexico border. And that uh, apparently 14 airliners were in the air headed for Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport when the nation, um, when the FAA closed the nation's airport. Uh, Sky Harbor spokeswoman Suzanne Luber says all 14 now have landed, but all of their flights today anywhere in the country are canceled. We'll keep you updated with the latest news as it occurs. Right now we return to BBC World Service News. Our time is a minute and a half past 11 o'clock. KUATFM, Tucson. I was at the, in the base of the building in the foyer when there was one huge thump. It sounded like a, a full skip of, uh, of garbage being dropped from a great height. I thought no more of it, but the building did physically shake. A few seconds after that, there were two more big crashes, and people started screaming around me and running, just screaming, get out, get out. Soon after the first explosions in New York, President Bush said he had ordered a full-scale investigation into what he called a terrorist-related attack. In a second address from a Louisiana airbase, President Bush has said all appropriate steps will be taken to protect the American people and that those responsible for what he called these cowardly acts would be hunted down and punished. 